Hello, this is Sachin Savant, your UK immigration lawyer. Today I'm going to touch upon one of the points that I have just seen in one of the settled status refusal letter. One of the individuals has filed a settled status application, provided the evidence for EU settled status. This is the EU settlement scheme application. He had provided Monzo bank statements covering three years of his residence, showing the evidence that there were transactions done in the UK. So that is an acceptable proof. We have used that with other banks. Uh, I've used it many times for our, our, the clients as well, where we have used bank statements showing UK transactions, like transactions at Costa Coffee, TK Maxx, anywhere at a UK retailer. And that has been accepted that you are physically present on that day in the UK. And that can be counted towards your evidence of being in the UK on that day or during that period. So. Uh, I just recently, yesterday I was reviewing a refusal letter which was the client filed the online application and it was sent to me for review. Uh, I think it wasn't refused but instead of settled status, the individual was given pre-settled status and they were considering challenging it. So the refusal exactly read this, it said they asked for further documents for that period during the consideration stating we are making this request as I read this verbatim. We are making this request as the evidence you have provided is not sufficient because the Monzo bank statements cannot be verified. So they are, the contention of the caseworker is, or caseworkers in this matter is, that the Monzo bank statements cannot be verified. I went on Google, I went to the Bank of England website, I tried to see what is the situation with Monzo. They do have a banking license since 2017. That's what I got from all the information that I could gather. Uh, and uh, the individual had given statements after 2017. So it's interesting. They have a full banking license. So they are a bank. Uh, but still, uh, for the period after 2017, the evidence was used. I think it was from 18 onwards. Uh, so Monzo. The contention of the caseworker is that Monzo bank statements cannot be verified. I don't know whether it, whether it is across the board for any Monzo documents. I don't know if it is just this particular caseworker who has refused considering this application, considering this contention that Monzo bank statements cannot be verified. But I just wanted to throw out to anyone who is filing EU settlement status applications, providing proof of residence. And one of the options in that is you can provide your bank statements showing transactions in the UK. Uh, money going in and out uh, and this is one of the concerns I wanted to raise it if you have alternate evidence do provide that instead of Monzo bank statements if you don't have any option it will be interesting to see this this definitely can be challenged at an, at an appeal definitely uh, this judges would be more reasonable on this because bank is a bank whether it's Monzo or any other bank they cannot be differentiating against banks so yes um, uh, I don't know if the client is going to go ahead with any challenges further. Um, in the EU settled status applications, there is an option to appeal as well. Uh, so I think they are going with the route of admin review for now, which may or may not help. Yeah, but uh, this is something that I wanted to raise. So if you are filing a settled status application considering using Monzo bank statements, I would say add on some other evidence as well just to help out the caseworker if they have this problem across the board, across the caseworking team. Uh, I'm just uh, predicting. I don't know whether every caseworker has this issue. I've just seen this for the first time. I wanted to bring it to your notice. So anyone who is filing settled status application, just beware. Monzo bank statements. Uh, avoid using them or at least provide alternate evidences during the same period that you're trying to use this statement for. So yeah, that's the only thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, if you do like such videos, do subscribe to our channel. Also, there are many people who I have Monzo accounts and will be filing settled status applications and may be using uh, this as evidence. So, uh, especially that if there are youngsters and all teenagers going through universities and all they are living with parents, they may not have much evidence to prove uh, that they are physically in the UK. This may be one of the easiest way to prove it. So yes, uh, there may be individuals who will file settled status applications, may not be now, maybe next year, maybe the year after and they may be stuck so just uh, uh, it's very important you do 
like and subscribe to our channel so that YouTube throws it to others who are in need uh, and who are going to file settled status applications. They, they may get some help by watching this video. And yes, do subscribe to our channel and thank you very much for watching.